one of my favorite things about being on safari is first thing in the morning to watch that gray of dawn happen, and especially where we are right now, over that river. But then you have your little bit of breakfast and so some coffee, and you hit the road. And as soon as you leave camp, you're starting to see animals. You're, you're, you're there when the world comes awake in the morning. Everywhere you turn, there's something else, and you never know what you're gonna see next. Oop, what was that? What did you see, Ultra? Oh, uh, kudu. Yeah. Yeah. Aren't they beautiful? They're gorgeous. And that's, that's the magic of Africa. It's so rich with game. We have pretty much all the species in, in Zambia here. We have buffalo, we have sable, we have roan, uh, reedbuck, lechery, puku, oribi, zebra, wildebeest, hartebeest, reedbuck, sitatunga, uh, blue diker, east angolan diker. Uh, yeah, so there's plenty to do and a lot of fun to be had. Peter had been telling me that he wanted me to take one of these hartebeest because it's a different variety of hartebeest than anything that I had seen before. Well, yeah, there's quite a few in there. Goes well back. Yeah, maybe. Again, one of those situations where we're driving along, not particularly thinking about hartebeest, and boom, there he was, right in front of us. And we had to put on a bit of a stalk. standing because they're confused. I can't see if he's gone down, but they, they, they wouldn't stand there and look at look over this way. And we had to follow it up a little bit. Huh. There he is. Here we were wondering what was happening. Well done. Good job. And uh, I am told that this is absolutely delicious meat. We'll find that out this evening, I guess. There you go. Well done, Mac. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It was again. good shooting. I don't know why we doubted you. <laughs> <laughs> it was just the way we just walked off like there was nothing wrong. Yeah. Look here, we moved the room. He left the bird. That's what we were looking for. A heart of beast is down. Well done, Mac. Thank you, sir. Now, Gerald McCraney pursues the largest antelope on Earth, the magnificent eland. We uh, have had several opportunities, but Mac doesn't rush. He wants to be accurate. He wants to be, uh, do a clean shot. Perfect, it's exactly what we want, right there. It's a beautiful ball. Oh yeah, yeah. I see. He's just standing looking at you. Yes, let's give it a go. Where's your weapon? Back. That was this morning's hunt. We saw the eland across the river. Ah. Yeah. Do you have him, Mac? Yeah. Right, Macker. High shoulder there. And the animal brought itself out into it and gave Mac a very clean shot. It was well over 180 yards. <laughs> Mac! <-y! laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> thank you. No, 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 no. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Mm. Felt good. 
it was just one of those special mornings where everything aligned. Those are memories that will never go away. Well, that was, that was some phenomenal shooting, I tell you. That was very good. Well done. God, they're magnificent animals, yeah. aren't they? Look at it. That is a magnificent yeah. animal. Look good at the blacks. Lord. That is incredible. The size of the body on this thing. That's your first shot. God, that feels good to be out in the morning in this kind of light and just being out here, much less doing something like this. This is just fabulous. Ever since I was a kid, the, the old movies, my favorites were always the ones about Africa one way or another. And I have dreamed about coming to Africa since I was about five, I guess. And the first time I came here, this is even better than I thought it would be. And every time I come back, I have that same feeling. This is even better than I remember.